Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be another good old fashioned try on and unboxing for you of some pieces that I just bought from Cezanne. Here is the box filled with the goodies. Cezanne recently restocked an item that I've had my eye on for some time, but in order to meet the free delivery threshold to Australia, you have to spend 200 US dollars. And so I was forced to have a frolic on the website and managed to add an additional three items to my cart, which are now here. And so I figured that I would share my thoughts with you in a little try on just in case you had any of these pieces on your radar. I always like watching these types of videos on YouTube because I always find it really helpful to see real people trying on clothes that have been modeled and presented beautifully on a website like the Cezanne website, because I'm assuming that you like me don't live in a sepia world although it would be a very flattering place to live. And personally, my experience with Cezanne has been a little bit hit and miss because all of the photos are obviously presented in such a flattering way. But then when I'm trying them on at home, it's no surprise that some of the proportions don't work on my petite frame. So perhaps seeing the pieces on someone like me will make you go, yeah, I wanna look like her. Or what is this? So however it is that I can assist in your decision-making process, you're welcome. You're welcome. So in my little box of treats, it has been beautifully packaged. I've got one skirt and three knits. It's no surprise that the proportion of knits in my order is 75% because I love a Cezanne knit. So let's get started. So let's start things a little bit different today and let me show you this skirt that I ordered. So this is the Tammy skirt, which I ordered in the vintage blue color. I got it in a size 36. I'm usually a size Australian eight to 10 in bottoms. I'm pear shaped and I'm usually a size eight up top, just for reference. And I'm also 158 centimeters tall or five two, just you have a bit of reference there as to my height. Um, I don't know why I ordered this piece. Is this some kind of a skit? Because I'm lost. It is completely different to what I usually wear. This is probably a past Virginia thing that I was a little bit more feminine than I am today. Today I think I much prefer like a borrowed from the boys type vibe. But I think the imagery on the website just sucked me in. If you're not familiar with the Cezanne website, then just let me break it down for you. The models are so beautifully effortless and chic, giving off this French girl aesthetic, and all of the images just makes me want to tap into that too. It makes it seem accessible, though the price of the pieces is on the upper end of the scale, and the models are just, you know, relaxing, just chilling on the floor in their Parisian houses, going for a walk and getting a baguette on a Paris street, making the everyday very luxurious and pretty. And so now when I say this piece in the context of what I typically wear and where I live, it's a little bit funny, but let's just see how it goes. I have welcomed a lot more feminine pieces in my wardrobe in recent times because I guess style can be a little bit cyclical like that. The model that's wearing this on the website is wearing a pair of, I think, knee high boots and the length hits her mid calf. So I am a little bit concerned about where the hem will sit, but it doesn't look overly long. And so let's give this one a go. Okay, so this is a skirt modeled by yours truly. And um, I think it's very pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna use the sandwich approach, which is what I typically use when I'm about to dish out some criticism. Okay, so it's very pretty. Um, the fabric is quite thin and so it's not the most flattering on my body because my midsection has copped a little bit of a beating in recent years um, by having two large babies. I'm not sure how I feel about this and let's end off with something very nice. It's very kind and didn't talk back. No, but seriously, I think the, the color is very lovely. I obviously haven't steamed it. I've just popped it on straight out of the box. Maybe that'll make a difference, but I'm not sure whether I can be bothered right now. I like where it sits on the waist. I like that it's high-waisted. It's also got this elastic at the back, which makes it a really comfortable piece to wear. And even though it's comfortable and it's not overly tight, it is fitted in this midsection area here, which happens to be the area that I'm most self-conscious about on my body. And because I'm pear-shaped, I sort of come out a little bit at my hips and my bum before I taper down again. And so I think that it's not the most 
fluttering cut for someone with my body shape. If you aren't pear shaped though, then I think that you won't have the same issues that I'm having. Also, the split on the skirt isn't too high. It's enough to be playful, but it's not too high to be self-conscious when you're walking around and doing a bit of a swisho. So it's certainly appropriate. I really like that about it. And also because I'm petite, I was a little bit worried about where the length would end up on my frame. So it doesn't look like an accidental maxi skirt, which can happen to a lot of us petites when we're trying on midi skirts. It's like when you wear seven eighth jeans and they end up being full length. And three quarters, that makes me feel even worse when you're wearing three quarters and it's full length. It's like three quarters on who? Who is this fit model that you're using? Anyway, I'm going way off topic. I think the pandemic just did some weird things to me and I wanted to be a little bit more feminine. And the Cezanne website and the imagery that was used for this particular skirt really did draw me. I thought I could do it. I thought I could pull it off. I still think that I probably could if it was a little bit more flattering on my midsection. The color works really well, but I don't think that this is a keeper. Let me know if you think differently or if you want to validate my views. The next piece that I have to show you is the knit which prompted the order in the first place. And you're gonna recognize this as soon as I hold it up. It is the Leontine knit in navy and ecru, but the reverse colorway of what I already have. So I've got it in the ecru navy. Again, the model looks amazing in this on the website. This is a piece that I already own in another color that I really enjoy. And I've just caught a glimpse of what this looks like and it looks very stripy right now. P.S. This is also from Cezanne. This is the Colette, and I don't want to butcher the pronunciation, Mariniere. Mm. Mariniere? Mm. Mariniere. Mariniere. I'll put the link for this one down below too. I'm in an extra small. Um, in the Leon Tiny, I also ordered the extra small, same as the other piece that I have. I'm not sure whether I'm the type of person to own the same type of knit in two different colors, particularly a statement piece like this. I don't know whether I'm that type of person, but I did want to give this a go. I really like the cotton fabric of this one. It's quite weighty, but it is incredible quality. It's one of those pieces that is really quite versatile, the style anyway. So let's see whether or not this color works as well. on and I really like it. This was not supposed to happen. The biggest question for me as to whether or not I keep a return is whether or not I want to have the same style knit in two different colors. And right now that I've just popped it on for the first time, I think that it looks very different to the original one that I have. But once the honeymoon period is over, I might think differently. So I have to give myself a couple of days to just let it set in. But I mean, this is just such a lovely style knit, as you can see. And I mean, the sleeves, they are just really lovely. And so yeah. <laughs> Help, should I keep it or return it? I don't usually cry at all. But why is it all? The next item that I bought is a repurchase of an item that I bought in my very first YouTube Cezanne haul, which is the Anil Knit, this one here. A lie, actually. I bought that one in black. This one is in navy, so it's not an exact repurchase. But you'll recall when I tried on the Anil Knit in black that I was self-conscious about the low scoop neckline. I am a little bit of a fuddy-duddy when it comes to necklines and I prefer sort of a higher neckline just so that I'm not self-conscious when I'm in a work context or when I'm sort of playing around with the kids on the floor and things like that. I don't want to expose myself accidentally. So I returned that black knit, but as soon as I returned it, I got so many messages from a lot of you saying that the knit actually looks lovely worn backwards. And that's something that I do a lot with a lot of the V-neck tops that I have in my wardrobe. I will wear them backwards because I like the boat neck style neckline that it gives and how it's like a low back and I can't believe I didn't think to do that when I was trying on the anil top the first time round. and so I thought I would buy it and share with you whether or not it does actually work it is slightly sheer and the tag is there so I just sort of wonder whether or not the tag will be visible when worn I guess that's something that I'll be looking out for the thing that I loved about this is that it's a really lovely feminine delicate knit but the arms are also quite fitted. It's got this scalloped hem. It's really quite lovely. I think a boat neck style would be perfect for me anyway. And so let's give this one a go backwards this time. Forward, backward, forwards, backwards. Wow. <laughs> so 
this is the Anil knit backwards and it looks completely different because the scoop neck is now at the back. As you can see. So obviously the tags are still tucked in there, just right here. And so if I do choose to keep it and cut it off, I don't think the tag will be obvious. I don't know, I can't really see it in this light. I'm not sure how it's showing up on camera, but it's a really lovely boat neck style when it's worn like this. It's a completely different top. <laughs> And I think it's safe to say that I much prefer it like this so that I don't have my girls on display. Not that they're very big girls, but that's another topic. And I must say, I think I prefer this colour, which is the story of my wardrobe. I do find navy to be a little bit softer. That's not to say that I don't have a lot of black because I do. I have heaps of black in my wardrobe. But I think that navy is just a little bit softer, particularly when I'm wearing it with denim like this. Gosh, I'm really, really quite pleased. What do you guys think? The navy knits are faring very well so far. And the last piece that I have to share with you, which looking down at it now is, I don't know whether it's something that I would wear. Um, it's the Gaspard jumper in ecru and gold. Now the gold in person is quite metallic-y. I don't know if that is coming up on camera. I think this is a tad misleading because on the website the gold didn't look metallic at all. I thought that it was going to be like a like the gold colour that you get in the gold colouring pencils. That's such a bad example, but you know, not metallic-y, but just a slight sheen. My son has a very healthy collection of coloured pencils and that gold tone is coming to mind. I ordered this one in the size extra extra small. The sizing notes say that you should size down if you're between sizes but I find this one a really oversized cut and so I even sized down two sizes and it's still pretty oversized as you can see. The cardigan is one of the signature pieces in their knitwear collection because it's designed to be worn in multiple different ways. I think primarily it's meant to be a jumper and then a cardigan. It's cut in a manner where you can play around with it quite a bit. I personally like wearing it as a jumper, but I also like wearing this one as a scarf because I think that it looks very effortless. I do this a lot with my navy one, which I'll pop there. Again, I'm very strappy right now, but you get the, you get the gist. Especially over a blazer, I think this looks really quite lovely. And so let's see how the goldy, metallic-y colour works when I actually try this piece on properly. I'm not sure. Let's see if I can be sweaty. Okay, so I've just popped on the accidentally metallic-y gold knit, even though it was described as gold. I should have known better. Damn you, sepia filter. So I'm wearing this as a cardigan, but I may as well share with you all the different ways that it can be styled while I'm here. This is the jumper, like a V, as a scarf. You know, the metallic -y flakes aren't coming through on camera. It's just obvious in person, I think. Admittedly, I'm not as against it now that I've tried it on. I think when I initially saw the metallic, I was like, ew, it's so shiny and glittery. But it's not like that, don't be alarmed. It's been a while since I've worn any metallic in my clothing, and so I didn't expect it, but I'm not as against it. So that's it, those are the four pieces. Let me know in the comments which ones I should keep or which ones I should send back and why. I'm always really interested to hear your opinions. And so thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful, particularly if you had any of these pieces on your radar or if you're mulling about placing an order with Cezanne. Personally, I found the shopping experience with them to be quite straightforward. My order arrives via DHL within the week and the returns process, particularly because I live in one of the countries that benefits from free returns, has been really easy, making Cezanne really quite accessible when previously they weren't even shipping to Australia. So it's been really nice to get to know the brand over the past year since they started shipping to Australia and test out a lot of their knitwear. I'm not brave enough yet to branch out and try out their pants and their denim and their shoes yet, or their bags. They do look lovely on the website and so perhaps that is something that I will do one day. I think for now though I need to stay away from the Cezanne website because I have placed two orders in the last two months and so I think that's enough of Cezanne for a little while. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video please let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and subscribing to my channel and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!